A lot of indie adventure games try to replicate the distinctive feel of classic LucasArts point and clickers, but Locomotive doesn't just pull this off, it absolutely nails it. Set in the 1930s on a train speeding through the mountains of Austria, you play as Arthur, a straight-laced lawyer solving the bloody murder of his wealthy employer. It's a classic Agatha Christie mystery, but with the goofy, self-aware humour of Monkey Island. Arthur is not a heroic detective, far from it. One of the train's passengers calls him a square and he takes it as a compliment. He says he admires the straight-edged reliability of a square. But fate has decided that he's the one who will solve this case, especially when the only actual sleuth on the train also ends up with a knife in his back. Locomotive has everything I love about LucasArts adventures. Detailed, expressive animation. Great pixel art. Genuinely funny jokes with impeccable timing, slapstick humour, and absurd item combination puzzles. If you don't like games like Day of the Tentacle or Monkey Island, it probably isn't for you. But if you do, it's the closest I've seen a modern adventure get to those classics. It's the little touches too, like the way Arthur occasionally turns to the camera and talks to the player in the same way Guybrush Threepwood from Monkey Island often does. And the moment when I pick up a briefcase and, realising it's too big for his pockets, he stuffs it down his trousers. Locomotive is shot, clocking in at around an hour, but the feedback has been so positive that developer Robust Games is releasing an expanded version with additional content. Remarkably, the game's four-person development team made this in just two weeks as part of a game jam. You'd never think that playing it, it's incredibly polished and well realised. You can play Locomotive now and it's name your price, so you can grab it for free if you really want to. Just search for it on itch.io. If you have any love for classic adventure games, especially LucasArts ones, this is basically a must play. Between this and Hitman 3's Dartmoor level and the success of films like Knives Out, it seems classic murder mysteries are back in vogue, and I am all for it.